Hi, Dorian. Oh, hi, Roxanne. So I hear that you and your colleagues have invented something that might be a game changer for vaccinations. Yeah, we have a new way of, of delivering vaccines. Rather than using a, a needle, a syringe, what we have is a pill that actually shoots a jet of drug into your cheek without pain. Oh my God, I love it already. How does it work? We use a reaction in here, just like vinegar and baking soda. Once that starts reacting, it makes a gas and builds up the pressure inside of the, the pill. On the end of the nozzle, we have a membrane that holds the pressure in, which right now is uh, fingernail polish. <laughs> and when it gets to a certain pressure, it releases. This piston pushes down, pushes the drug out, and it shoots a jet of uh, the drug into the cheek. Can I try how it works? Sure. So in the real system, you'd press it together to start the reaction. That would give you a timing like 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. And then you hold it against the inside of your cheek, and after 10 seconds, it'll shoot. The pressure is just like a, um, a water pick, which is one of these things for cleaning your teeth. So it doesn't hurt. It injects the drug and you're done. And you just take it out. And you're done. Is it just as effective as if I got the drug with a needle injection? We've done um, experiments on rabbits. It gets um, both systemic and mucosal immunity, it's called. The next step is actually a smaller pill. And this one's actually designed to be swallowed. And it's coated with a substance that protects it from the stomach and then only activates when it's in the intestine. One of the target possibility would be insulin for diabetics. The idea is you could take your insulin and swallow a pill versus having to take an injection. Besides just the fact that it will be painless, both mm -hmm. these pills, what other advantages will there be? Well, the great thing is we can actually do this at home. You could give this to people so they don't have to go to the pediatrician. You don't need trained personnel to give you a shot, which is a huge expense. Also for better distribution to third world countries or to rural areas, you could actually get your, uh, your vaccinations done very, very easily and more effectively. One of my co-investigators, Kiana Aaron, suggested that we could actually put this in a lollipop for children. And so they would just hold it in their mouth until the drug was delivered. And then they'd also have the rest of the lollipop. So when do you think we'll see this broadly in the public? My colleagues and I are very, very excited about this. We think, we think it's about five to 10 years off because you still have to do all the clinical trials. But, um, but for both systems, we think there's, there's, there's huge impact on the healthcare. Congratulations. Thank you very much.